you have the Vortex. This is called the T10M Pro Tablet, and I'm going to show you a cool way to help it run faster. All right, before we get there, I'm going to show you how the device runs right now. So bring up something simple like the Messenger. Okay, I want you to pay special attention to how it opens and how it closes. See how it pauses and then it grow and it comes back down and it pops up like that. Okay, I'm going to bring up uh, YouTube for example. See how it comes up? Then when I close YouTube, when I close YouTube, <laughs> let's see if it's going to let me close it. There it goes. See how it kind of came back down into this little thing. So watch what we do to change that and make your tablet run even faster. Okay, to change it, we're going to go into settings. Now this is going to feel very complex, but it's actually easy, and there's only one warning. So we're going to go to about. We're going to scroll down, and we're going to find build number right here. You're going to touch build number seven times. Three, four, five, six, seven, and this message should come up. you got to enter your PIN because we unlocked the software inside the tablet. So I'm going to back up one. Now I'm going to go to System. Now that's what we open, Developer Options. We're going to touch Developer Options. Now I'm going to turn Developer. It, it's on by default. I'm going to turn it off here and then turn it back on here so we can read this warning. Allow Development Settings. The settings are intended for development use only. They can cause your device and the application on it to break or misbehave. So just keep that in mind. And I say that because we're going to scroll down a long ways in this list of software and don't accidentally touch something if you do just back up or push cancel all right we are looking for something called drawing right here is drawing and then here we're going to see windows animation scale transition animation scale animator duration scale we're going to change all of these change it by touching it some people say maybe you want to change it to 0.5 the smaller the number the faster it goes Definitely don't make it bigger unless you're experimenting. You want to actually make your device run slower. I like all my devices to run with the animations off. So I'm going to turn them all off. Off. Turn them all off. Just like that. Now I'm going to go back home. And now watch what happens. Keep in mind what you saw with your eyes earlier. Your own eyes. You saw the apps open and close this way. Now watch what happens when we open Messenger. It just blinks on. Right? And now when we close it, basically blinks off. Hey, okay, let's bring up uh, YouTube again. Blinks on. Basically blinks off. Let's try the camera. Camera blinks on. Blinks off. So if you're someone who you use your tablet a lot, you're in between, you go back and forth between apps, make send a message, create a video, upload it, uh, write all those things edit it, your phone your your tablet is going to feel snappier and faster if you make these changes if you do make these changes and you like how quickly your or how much faster your vortex tablet runs leave a message in the or leave a comment okay so now let's say that you make these changes and you don't like it the easy way to uh, change it back we're going to go back into settings touch settings go to system where we've already turned on the developer options touch developer options and all we have to do is change it here turn it off turn that off and if you want to double check that it automatically resets it to the default 1x we'll scroll down and we're looking for drawing oh, I went too far networking input I'll find all right just going too fast all right so here they are windows animation transition and animator duration scale even though it's grayed out you can see that it's one it went back to default all right hopefully you've learned something if you have please like please subscribe thank you for watching